right, hopefully you can see is okay. Um, it's dark. Um, I've got the interior light on. So it's 18 minutes past seven um, in the evening. Obviously, it's pitch black nearly. Um, Good Friday. We are heading over to Gretna. Uh, Laura's just at the cash machine. She's just withdrawn some cash. We've got little baby James with us. James, look. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, so we're just getting some money. Like I say, we're going to head onto the A1 Western Bypass over by Newcastle. On the A69, um, over that way. Uh, it estimates about one hour, 27 minutes, 72 miles. So, see you in a bit. Right, so it's 9.30 at night. Um, we got here, got to the park up. It's on park for night. Um, I'll see if we can take a screenshot and see if we can put it in a video. Yeah. Um, so on park for night, it said it's £5 per night. It says the farmer comes in the morning. Knocks on your door about eight o'clock and asks for a fiver. We've got here now and the sign says eight quid. <laughs> Typically we've got five or seven, so let's hope he's got some change. So um, he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, like I say, we we set the beds up before we came, so we're pretty much ready to go. Little James is down there. In yeah, his so that's bed. why I'd keep looking down yeah, there. Yeah, Laura's watching him. Um yeah, and I think we're gonna try and have an early night, although there's a train line just over there and it keeps whizzing back and forth and making loads of noise. So, anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Yep. Good night. Night. Good morning. So, I had quite a good sleep. Um, James had quite a good sleep. However, Robert said he didn't. Yeah. Um, I've had uh, an awful sleep. So, I mean, oh, James is trying to pinch a <laughs> microphone. So, um, just over there, there's what seems to be a very 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 busy road yeah. um <clears throat> there was obviously cars all night and then the train track there was trains going by um i think what kind of spoiled it for me is where if i wake up after i've had a, a little bit of a sleep then then i'm awake you know so we're going to bed last night we was been in bed been asleep about an hour and then some idiot came and pulled uh, it next to it. Two cars. I <clears throat> well, I don't know one sounded inside. like it stayed and one sounded like it raced away. But uh Rev and I exhaust really loud, woke all up, um and that was it. I've had a unsettled night's sleep. Since then, like I say, Laura thinks she's been sleeping on clouds of cotton wool mixed in with feathers and oh, bless you. stuff, so but anyway, um, she doesn't know yet, but she's about to make work for us. So we'll see you in a, in a minute once we've put the bed and everything away. Yeah, see you soon. Yeah, the farmer will be coming for his money. Eight pound, not five pound. <laughs> <laughs> see you in a bit. Bye. Just in time to record a train passing. So, <laughs> so we're busy on breakfast now. We've got little James there in his little high chair. Uh, Laura, uh, we've got our, our toaster that's been powered by our EcoFlow Delta 2. So yeah, um, Laura's made with crumpets. I made the cuppers um, just because it was easier. Uh, it was an absolute nightmare moving everything around. Yeah, since that's why we're doing it on the table because we literally can't get yeah. onto our little kitchen unit. Yeah, um, as anyone with kids will know, all the stuff that you, you carry extra, like a high chair, for a, a baby, it's just an absolute nightmare, and especially in a, a tiny little van like this, isn't it? Yeah. It uh, could do with an extra yeah. uh, eight foot on the back. Definitely. <clears throat> but even then, we'll probably still wouldn't have enough space. Yeah, um, we won't show you around the front where we'll put everything yeah. for the minute. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the farmer came around, uh, collected his money. Um, I let him know the price was incorrect on the internet, on Park for Night. But uh, I took a photo of the sign and I said we're going to see if we can update it. So hopefully the next lot of people come expecting to pay £8 and not £5. There's a great big motorhome that way and um, 
uh, jokingly, uh, she was whinging that they'd put the price up as well. So, but anyway, so we're going to have our breakfast in a cuppa and we'll see you again shortly and Laura will get changed. I can't because due to communication error, we forgot to change up clothes for me. No, the communication error was I told Robert to pick them up. And, and I, I asked Laura to get them. I've got a uh, clean underwear, socks and t-shirt, just no different top or trousers. So, anyway, we'll see you in a bit when Laura gets changed. So that's when Gretna Green now. Um, we've just drove past the Blackfriars, um, where they do all the, the marriages. Um, my uncle and auntie got married there um, quite a few years ago now. Um, but we're just walking to the Caledonia Park. It's a designer outlet shop. Because um, we thought, why not? Again, I came here when we came a few years ago. Um, the weather was quite nice, but uh, it's actually starting to look a little bit, as you can probably see the clouds in the back there. Um, I mean, it just looks like I've stuck my finger up with that car that's drove past, oh. but never mind. Um, Damn Scots. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not if there's any Scottish people watching, I love you. I'm joking. <laughs> um, Hello, is it not better to cross over here, Robert? I don't know. The crossing? I don't know, do we need to cross? Well, I think so, okay. yeah. So, but yeah, um, so we're just going to walk there and just have a little wander around. James is due a nap, so he's been up since um, about quarter to seven as he slept all the way through, much to his mum's disgust, because um, I think she thought he wasn't going to, but he did. He always sleeps so his grandma and granddad. Um, Anyway, yeah, I'm just kind of waffling, so we'll catch back in with you soon. Right, so I've just been up to the bathroom while Laura's been in the little shops, and I've just spotted Paradise, not in the toilet. <laughs> um, it's a Cadbury shop, and they do massive giant bars of dairy milk, two for 20 quid, so I think we may go and get some. <laughs> so... We've just parked up um, and we're just walking up to the, the blacksmiths there now in Gretna Green. Um, I don't know, how do I turn the camera around? Just, you rotate, it's easier. Hopefully you can see that sign there that says Gretna Green. Um, hopefully. <laughs> um, can't remember what I was going to say. So we had to make a, a pit stop. Um, I don't know if Robert said last night but he um, jammed his finger in the van door. So he's got a obviously bruised nail and all of his fingers swollen. Um, and it's obviously really hurting. <coughs> James just dropped his glove. Um, he's been a little tinker. He will not keep his socks or his gloves on. Um, yeah, so we made a little pit stop. Um, at the chemist to get some strapping for his well yeah <laughs> so he's got sore fingers but this is where we're coming into the, the place there now so we'll have to go a little bit closer because it's not but yeah this is this is where we are it's a lovely day it's quite cold in the wind but when that sun comes out it's absolutely lovely Uh, that's the Blacksmith Museum. Yeah. And there, that's the. That's where we are. If you've never heard. Well, I'm sure everyone's heard of Gretna Green. But that's where we are. Uh, like I say, my uncle and auntie got married here. 2003? Uh, yeah, 2003. So quite a long time ago now. Uh, unfortunately, my auntie has since passed away, but. Yeah. So we thought we'd come back and just see it. Yeah, so we're just gonna have a, a little walk around and see what there is. Yeah, and just kill a little bit of time. So we'll see you soon. Bye.
There's Laura there. Gretna Green Shop. <laughs> Where's the Gretna Green Shop? Go on then, let's go in the Gretna Green Shop. Gretna Green Shop just ahead. Here's our first issue. I'm not allowed. <laughs> yes, James. <laughs> Laura's in heaven. She's just found tons and tons and tons of showbread. And she's found Scotty Dog showbread that she's just put down as I turned around. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh look, there's uh, Highland cows up there. Oh. So last year, me and my friend Des went on a, a trip to Aberdeen on the trains. Um, we did not spot any cows. All oh, these ones here: apple caramel, rhubarb crumble. Cherry Almond Bakewell, Violet Gin, Tropical Gin, Raspberry Ripple, Strawberries and Cream, Mediterranean Gin, um, ooh, Salted Caramel Rum, Bramble Gin, so I think I might choose a one of these. I think I'm going to go for the Cherry Bakewell. Try and see if I can find where it is. No, but that's the one I'm gonna go for. So we've just had a, a little look around the Gretna Green shop. Next we're going to the big Scottish <laughs> shop. Um I suspect. Well I'm sure it'll just be the same, same stuff. Tat, yeah. yeah. Aye. Uh, one thing I do want to see if we can find somewhere is a little butcher. Sorry, we're getting looked at for Darren to speak to the camera. <laughs> a butcher's to see if we can get some lawn sausage. Mm. Yeah, Laura doesn't like it. She's saying, mm, butcher hates I it. I do like lawn sausage. The square sausage. sausage. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we can get some. So, we're in the actual um, blacksmiths now. Um, we've just been having a look around the shops. But, Outside of it, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, sorry, like outside, yeah. yeah. Like um, it's obviously really touristy, all the, like Robert said, the different shops. Um, um, just for reference, in the big Scottish shop, I think the only thing that I could afford was the carrier bag to buy the stuff, to carry the <laughs> stuff that I couldn't afford. So, uh, yeah, it was a little bit expensive in there. Yeah, yeah but, but it's all barber and yeah, things I mean, like that, yeah, proper it's, it's Scottish. Like, Cheap tourist yeah, tat, is it? No. <laughs> it's not like Benidorm High Street yeah. or anything. Yeah. So. Well, James is asleep, so we're just having five. Um, I've got a bit of a bad head, so we're just going to have a little wander. There's a food hall, so we're going to go and have a look <laughs> in the food hall and see what we can get from the food hall because I like going into like the farm shops and stuff. I know it's not yeah, a farm we'll shop, but I like going in and seeing what we can get. Um, and then if James so if stays any asleep, that, any lawn sausage that Laura does and doesn't like all at the same time? Mm, well, I don't like it because it's beef, but yeah, <laughs> I like when it's pork. Well, so, yeah. So um, yeah, I think yeah. Have a little wander in there now. Yeah, and then see if James will like. We'll have a cuppa in peace. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah. So I think that's probably, and then I think we're probably just going to head home. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. the one. Yeah. Um, it was. We were sitting in the sun a second ago, which is why I've got my glasses on, but yeah, it's gone it's behind the cloud it's still now. Cold. That's why I've got a yeah. thermal hat on and coat and everything. Yeah, there, so. yeah anyway, in yeah. the food hall. Yeah. So Laura's busy looking at the, the fruit pudding. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know. Uh, so she'll probably not like that either. So, uh, all the different haggis on the top shelf there. Black pudding, yeah, black pudding on the bottom there. Yeah. Um, don't know what they are. Lagers, I think they are. Lagers on the bottom, meals on the top.
No Lawn Sausage, though. What type of Scottish shop is this? Right, so we've just had the most appalling lunch ever. <laughs> <laughs> Went into the, the food and beverages bit. Um, first of all, we're going to get a, a little pasty to take out. Then Laura seen the sit-in bit. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, well, we're going to have something there. So um, pizza and chips, it was a slice of pizza and some chips for eight ninety nine each. Eight ninety nine, yeah. Yeah, um, and it was absolutely <laughs> horrendous. Um, so... <laughs> Laura ate it just out of protest because she'd paid so much. But I literally, I couldn't eat the chips there. Uh, the pizza, you know, you smashed your teeth yeah. when you're biting into it. Uh, and I happened to see a lady walking past and I just asked if I could speak to a manager to complain. I said, you know, because like nearly 20 quid, you know, it was not nice. Mm. Uh, and she gave me money straight back. Yeah, she she apologised, yeah. She yeah, she said, oh, I'm really sorry. I mean, I wasn't asking for the money, but I yeah. just gave him feedback that it was awful. And mm. let's say, she was like, oh, you can have your... Yeah, money back, no problems. Says, all right, great. So, you've you've been fed. I've kind of been fed, but um, I think we're done. Are we? Yeah, I we're just gonna so, yeah. gonna I'm head gonna home. Head yeah, home go to the van. Um, I'm gonna make a cup out of my travel cup for driving home, um, and then just get away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we'll we'll see. And the next one, hopefully, it'll not be months and months like the last one. I know. But, yeah. So. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Bye. Bye.